Hey guys, Tank here. I just went to uh, 110 Hobbies and got myself some MIP drivers. Now, it's been a long time coming. Usually I use these, uh, and I've been using them for about five years here, these uh, Dynamite uh, tool. They're, they're okay. They've lasted me uh, a good uh, four or five years. And I think on the two mil, I changed a bit uh, three times. So that's not bad, but I do a lot of screwing and unscrewing. So uh, they told me that the MIPs are very good and they last way longer than the other one. So theoretically, hopefully it's gonna be the last driver I actually get. So uh, let's have a closer little look on these uh, nice MIP drivers. They are more expensive than the other one. They're about twice as much as the price, but if they last longer, it's well worth it at the end. And uh, nobody likes dealing with a strip hex and try to get it out. So. Uh, Let's have a closer look. Okay, in the package, uh, this is actually part number 9502 from MIP. And uh, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, also online at MIPonline.com. They do come with some nice little um, cover to actually protect the hex. And reinforced here, which is kind of cool. So let's open it up. And it does have instruction. But I'm not sure what the instructions are for, but we'll go through it real quick. This is like an unboxing. Been waiting years for an unboxing like that. Wait! Did they seal it? Yeah, they did seal it. Those little buggers. There we go. So in here, you do get MIP stickers now. More stickers. Everybody loves stickers. I like using scissors to open up the bags. Little tiny screwdrivers. Got some clear. Not sure what these are for. MIP 2 millimeter. I think that's to put some heat shrink around it. Oh yes, this is the heat shrink. Here's a 1.5. Here's the 2.5 and 2.0 stickers. So these are actually to put on the handle here. And you actually take the heat shrink here. And actually put them on here to identify which one's which. So it's actually to do this. Why they don't install it for you, I don't know. But I guess they um, like giving you guys work. So basically, you take the sticker that corresponds to the size um, of the screwdriver. And when you put it on, don't screw it up. Because once you put the heat shrink, you basically have to uh, cut the heat shrink off. And then it's no more good. So what is so special about these? supposed to be very good and last a long time. The metal that they use is supposed to be very good. They did provide you little caps. I guess once you're done, try not to lose them and put them on like that. It protects your tool a little better. It's always good to protect your tool and cover it up. That's what she said. And here's the 1.5 what I like about it it is very very um, sharp so it should go deep in there into the screw and really help you so nowhere it actually identify which one's which but if you if you're very good and um, have experience you don't really need the stickers but I will put him just for fun. There we go. I cleaned all three of them with contact cleaner. Um, electrical contact cleaner. That's what they say to actually use to clean the handle. And let me tell you, they were dirty. So if you don't clean them, your sticker might not fit on it properly. 
So quickly, we'll do the 1.5. We'll put the 1.5 on here. So I just put the heat shrink on it just real quick to actually test how much it's going to cover on each side. So uh, I am going to put the heat shrink in all the way, but the sticker, I probably won't put it. That's your call where you want to put it, really. But they do tell you to try to line up the text here with the text here. So it doesn't really matter, but let's take this off and put it on. Make sure I put it on the right one. And I'm actually going to match the text. And I'm going to try to put it straight. So when I actually roll it, it should be directly on it. That's pretty close. So now I can actually put the heat shrink on it. It's fun. You pay lots of money and they make you work. So now I can put my heat shrink on it. My, I can heat it up. I use a butane torch, so at the same time I can actually use the uh, uh, exhaust of it to actually heat shrink my stuff. Like that it stops me from having to take a torch out or anything, just like using the exhaust of it does work. They do tell you not to overheat it too much. There we go, we have it done. And this basically does come with the attachment on this, um, on the welder to actually use it as a real torch. So it's kind of cool when you do it. So there we go, tools already ready to be used. And now I'll do all three of them. There we go. All three tools have the heat shrink and the labels attached to it. It kind of makes it nicer and sexier when you have them on. So I suggest you do put them on. But when you do put them on, uh, these two shafts are exactly the same size. Or they look about the same size. So it's just they trimmed it a different size at the end. So do take off this to actually make sure you are putting the right label on the right one. So my MIPs are ready to start working and my labels are all lined up. Well guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the trail or next time on a video. Thanks guys and thanks for watching. Bye.